June 13th. I cannot wait to see what 343 has been working with Halo Infinite. It's been one year since the big reveal last year. And as is tradition, we're doing a predicting video of what we're going to see and what I'd personally like to see from the Microsoft presentation this year. I always love making videos like these. We get to actually predict what we're going to see. The campaign graphics, a multiplayer reveal, a multiplayer beta slash flight test. I had very high expectations last year, and then after the one year delay, I have even higher expectations this year. Halo Infinite will be releasing November 2021, and we still haven't seen very much on the game. It's getting to the time where the market cycle should start to really kick in. I saw one photo of a new Rockstar promotion, the energy drink, similar to the Monster one, but with a blue can this time image on screen now, so I fully expect to see lots of promotional things starting to come out. So what do I personally think we're going to see come E3 slash this Microsoft presentation? First of all, I think they're going to compare last year's campaign demo to the changes they've made now. Graphics were a really big thing that the community was commenting on, so I really feel like they want to put that to bed and they want to really show what it looked like before and what it looks like now. I don't think the campaign demo is going to be as long as it was last year. However, Joe Staten did a tweet basically showing all these different segments getting put together for Halo Infinite. This could be for multiplayer, for the multiplayer reveal, or for campaign, we don't know. As far as multiplayer goes, what I hope we will see is a big multiplayer reveal and some actual raw gameplay with the announcement of a flight test saying Halo Insiders, if you're a Halo Insider and you're signed up, you can download it now or come X date here you can play Halo Infinite before it comes out. If there isn't a flight test by the end of the presentation that's saying it's gonna go live now, I really hope it's within the next couple weeks. The population really needs something new to play because as of making this video, the Master Chief Collection population as a whole is only 3,000 people. I'd also like to hope that they give a definitive release date, maybe even showing a roadmap of what is planned leading up to release. This month's Inside Infinite, which is the little preview segment we get for Halo Infinite, has been postponed because of the big event that's coming out June 13th. So I honestly expect that it's a huge presentation. The Microsoft presentation goes for 90 minutes. I really hope Halo is like an hour of that. Realistically though, it'll probably be like half an hour. There'll probably be games like Fable that are shown, as well as Bethesda are showing off what they've been working on. For a flagship title that's gonna be releasing this year, and we know very little about it. We really need something tangible to one, allay fears, but also temper expectations. In all seriousness, I think once we have this big presentation on June 13th, 14th, if you're in Australia and New Zealand, I think the floodgates are going to open and we're gonna get heaps of information almost weekly so that 343 and Microsoft can build up hype for Halo Infinite. I remember reading a post last year and 343 basically said that they're restarting the marketing cycle and once we get closer to the game releasing officially, things are gonna pick up steam quite a lot. I don't expect too much to get shown from the campaign because I think they wanna keep it very hush-hush. So there's some really big surprises when Halo Infinite comes out. I'd imagine 343 wants to have some really big surprises. One, in terms of Cortana. Two, The Banished. Three, what happened to the UNSC? How did they get absolutely obliterated? What happened to the Infinity? What happened at the end of Halo 5's timeline? Does Halo Infinite have the Flood in it? Are the Flood going to return at all, even as DLC? Is Mendicant Bias going to be in Halo Infinite? What extended lore is gonna get worked into Halo Infinite? Are you going to have to read the books to have any idea of what's going on for Infinite? It is a spiritual reboot, so I'd imagine, no, you wouldn't have to read the books to get an understanding but people who do read the books and know the extended lore might be able to better appreciate the new information that Halo Infinite brings when it launches later this year. There's a lot of questions that a lot of people <laughs> want answers to, and I don't necessarily think they're all gonna be answered when the game comes out. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you think we're going to see for Halo Infinite this year at Microsoft's presentation. As of making this video, we're about two weeks away. I really hope we get solid multiplayer stuff and a comparison of what the graphics looked like before and what they look like now. I'm cautiously optimistic about the future of Halo, that as the release gets closer and closer, I'm getting really nervous. Not because I think it's gonna be bad or anything, but just personally for me, there's a lot riding on it for me as a content creator. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll be reading all your comments in the comments below. I can't wait to see what 343 has in store. I am unbelievably excited to fire grapple hooks in multiplayer and campaign. I've already written down like a hundred ideas of clips I want to do with it. And I guess custom edition when I was firing the grapple hook in that version really helped set me up for infinite. 
So again, thank you all so much for watching. How important do you think it is that 343 nails this presentation? How big do you think the population is going to be for one, the flight test, and two, for infinite in general? I have my very first short coming out later in a few hours, guys. I spent ages trying to make it look as good as possible. So thank you all so much for watching. Clip out in the next couple hours, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.